Bernie brought poutine and left it on the table, which I thought was the weirdest thing to that bring. That's a like, nasty thing to leave. Share, out. yeah. Just poutine. heat it up. One of the animators was taking some, and I was gonna take some, but then I saw him taking it and made me not want to touch it. Was he? Was it a gross one? Yeah. Oh. Uh, was he, know, was he was. like using his hands or what? No, just a utensil. Okay. But it just made me not I, want it. I couldn't. I, I I saw it there and I wanted some, but I couldn't find a plate, so I got a I got a glass. I had a glass of poutine. Oh, you like you like poutine. Why right? do you say it's? Why do you react like that? The poutine tastes the same. Look, some food shouldn't be eaten out of a cup. It was a glass. It's a glass is a drink receptacle, <laughs> like cereal. That'd be weird. I eat cereal out of a cup. Cereal out of a cup would be awesome. With you milk? don't have to use a spoon. Yeah, you just fucking drink it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you're drinking all like soggy bits. You're eating the soggy bits otherwise. Well, something like if, from a spoon, it's not as soggy. <laughs> what are you, somehow. What are you on about? How does that make sense? <laughs> It's in the milk for the exact same amount of time. I don't know. You gotta be careful with cereal because you, you, <laughs> you enter the uh, you? you enter the soggy territory. You gotta be like it's the same with Yorkshire puddings. You gotta scoff them down before they get soggy. Do you like poutine, Brandon? Um, <laughs> so they're, 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 I'm just gonna cut to the chase. What did the dog eat? Well, okay. explain the story first. So uh, I had to get on the phone with Poison Control because our dumb pug. Ate something she shouldn't have. And this was a couple weeks ago, right? Uh, yeah, this was a couple weeks ago. Let me pull up the picture for it. You tweeted a picture, I think, right? Yeah, so, um, my girlfriend and I were, like, on the bed having, like, a pretty serious conversation, talking about, like, visa stuff. hmm And, like, as you guys know, that's, like, you know, pretty stressful. Are you trying to get into the country? She's trying to stay in the country. Oh. Where's she from? Mexico. Okay. Me too, uh, man. Been there. Yeah. So, You're from Mexico? <laughs> no, I'm not. No, it's the pug's behind us on the ground chewing on a, a water bottle because she does that. I don't know what it is. She just likes that. And after a certain point, it got really annoying. So I turn to grab it from her. She actually has a bottle of lube and she's gone through <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> like it's not like a big giant thing of lube. It's like a moderately sized thing of lube. <laughs> It's but, not the Costco size. Yeah, it's not the <laughs> Costco. But it is a pretty decent size amount of lube for a pug. Ugh. So I'm gonna I gotta bring I'm gonna I'm gonna sidetrack you here for a minute. Okay. You tweeted this picture. I remember this picture that you've got the dog, you're sitting on the bed, the dog's on its back, and you're yeah, on the I can't phone. Pull up the, the and there's like five bottles of lotion behind you on the nightstand. It's because of my girlfriend's apartment. Why do you need five bottles of lotion and a giant tub of lube Girls have next to your lotion. bed? Girls? No, no. I will defend this point. I am married to a girl who does Esther not, is not have typical. five She's bottles not of typical. lotion on the nightstand right next to the bed. You want me to text her and ask? Okay, are, are I you, don't are, know. Are you concocting like the ultimate jack-off formula? <laughs> <laughs> it's like two part <laughs> jergens, one part userin. Women don't use lotion to jack off. I, I'm, like, not, I'm not accusing Paul, I'm accusing oh, him. Right. Dude, I would. that requires so much work to have him go get the lotion. It's like, I don't need that. Just spit on it. <laughs> Shine it up real nice. Right? I don't that know, is, that friend... is her apartment. That is not all of my lotion. But yes, half the comments were about the undecent amount. I of... do have to back her up, though, because girls tend to have just bottles of stuff, of product, whether it's hair stuff or skin stuff. I have, I don't even know how many bottles under my sink of have, just random Yeah, but products. not right next to the bed. No, no. Have I you only, spit on I your only... fascia? Of penises? <laughs> I mean, it was your suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, you, sometimes you gotta use some spit. It's a practical solution, but you're never like, okay, great. <laughs> so, how do you do that? Like, do you go like and like drip some on, or you just like? <laughs> well, usually you're up right up close. Do you, oh, do, right. no, 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 it's a drip. <laughs> I'm so happy my parents. Usually you're right up close. So that's when you're spitting on it. Interesting. I pictured it as like <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to aim. Yeah, that sounds like you're gonna like. <laughs> Just get a straw. Doll up one ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what do you do to a pug that's eating a bottle of loop? First, I called the vet, and you have to tell them, look, um... She ate a whole bottle of lube, <laughs> oh, and then you picture. wait for the pause <laughs> and the reaction. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's only three bottles. Of <laughs> she looks dead. She looks <laughs> dead. She was so out. And they're like, we don't know. Was it flavored? No, no, gross. But, but it wasn't water. Yeah. It was it was like like not rubber based, like oil based. Oil based. So I imagine that was like murder. Anyway, so we they're like I had to call poison control, which was like eighty bucks. Like they charge you before they'll save your dog. Poison control charges you when you call them? Yeah. What is it like an expensive? Animal poison control. Oh. Still. 
That's okay. But like the crazy thing is, I told them and it wasn't a big deal. Like they were totally cool about it. And then they, I told them the brand name, and then they were like listing off the different types. Like they had a complete database of lube. Of lube. Because I mean, I, it's not Are some more dangerous than others. So do they have to just list every liquid that yeah. would be found in a household that a dog could get to? But I imagine it's not dangerous for someone or something to consume lube because of the nature of where it is usually, and how mouths might be in those areas. Yeah, but they don't. They don't expect you to just like eat <laughs> no. like an entire <laughs> bottle of lube. Like I even felt the ground. I was like, how much of the ground is wet right now? And it was all dry. Rem- like she really got in there. It reminds me of that Simpsons episode where Homer eats the candle so he could eat oh, hot peppers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just coat your throat with lube. <laughs> so. Um, what happened? does the dog just like have the runs for a week? Oh, it's a couple days, but they're like, you need to try to get her to eat to kind of like balance it out. The only danger was if she threw up, because if you try to throw up lube, apparently it, you could choke. So I can imagine her- just all of the dog's food going like, <laughs> 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 just shooting out the dog's yeah. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> just putting like ball bearings in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she, she recovered, but she's sick now. You know how they, you go to Mexico, they say don't drink the water? Yeah. She did, and she got parasites. Oh. Your dog? Yeah. Aw. Don't drink the water. Poor Penny. <laughs> so, you, so I do, at least it's the water. It's not like, listen, my dog went to Mexico, ate a bottle of lube again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. Something, something about the way they make it down there. <laughs> Yeah, know. she loves lube, man. I don't know. I <laughs> Bitches don't. love lube. Yeah. She's a weird dog. She's very weird. And lotion. Yeah. Can I admit so something? Popular. What? Okay. It's 100% true. She ate another bottle of lube two days ago. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Stop you, keeping it in virtual uh, areas. <laughs> wait, is that, why, is, is that why the dog... No, no, you said the dog had parasites. <laughs> So you just try to drown the parasites she's, with a bunch of lube? She's not having a good... Not having she's not leaving lube out! Put it in a drawer! Just leave it out! She goes and she like digs put and finds it! Put it in a drawer! You're not burying it, are you? No! Yeah, put it in a fucking it's drawer! In like, it's in like a little cubby inside... No! Like, inside yeah, a thing, what? like kind of from work. the ceiling fan or something. <laughs> <laughs> or just in a drawer that <laughs> dogs can't open with their paws. The really, the really messed up part is like we have like the same Instacart uh, driver like every week. The person who does like our shopping for us. So <laughs> just keep them, bottles of like lube. these guys go through so much lube. <laughs> do they... Wait, you order your lube from Instacart? Yeah, and condoms through Instacart. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> it saves me a trip. <laughs> But then you like the person hands it to you, right? Yeah. Have you ever time? Have you ever used Instacart? Like they don't bring it out and like one by one go through your shopping list, do they? Here's your extra small condoms. Sometimes if they don't have something, they have to ask you, like, to call you and be like, "Are you okay with me replacing this?" Replacing the magnums. (laughs) They had had to replace the condoms once. Oh my god. Have you ever ordered just lube and condoms? (laughs) No, they charge you more if it's only like a couple things. Yeah. Yeah. Are you more afraid of drowning or burning to death? What's more terrifying to you? Classic question. Drowning. I think burning would be worse. I think burning, I'm like, oh man, I'm burning. This is really hot. But the drowning thing is just like, maybe I can get out of this. But I think once your lungs completely fill with water, you're kind of at peace. You think? Yeah, like people who have drowned and come back to life, they're like, yeah, I was actually okay with it at the time. (laughs) I I mean, mean, I'm not, it's not ideal. Who do you know? Like, oh, this sucks, but. Yeah, sorry. Well, have you never been you know that? Have you never been like, like, a, like a lazy boy? No, like, that is All right, something. This is my life now. <laughs> I'm just going to finish it up here. <laughs> yeah. But have you never had a situation where you are just ready for death? You're like, I accept death at this point. No. Have you? Yeah. I was on a donkey that ran off. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, and it, it didn't Wait, have a saddle. What? A donkey just took off. I was like, maybe six. And I was just like, and I was like, I'm gonna die. This so you it. had a clear concept of death when you yeah, were no, sick. Yeah, no, I was like, six, and you thought about first, your life. I went through t- different stages. I was like, oh god, and I was like, ow, it hurts. And I was like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna let go, and I just fell off it. <laughs> Did lived. You die? No, I lived. Oh, you lived. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't even hurt. Wait. I like how you were just like on the other end of the pen, <laughs> like all the friends. It was on a beach. Like... Were you with your family? It was or like the true yeah. story is the donkey took two steps and Gavin fell off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But in six year old life, it was hauling anus, dude. At the time, when I was six. That's a death I'm scared of, like a Reddit death. Oh. What? Like dying in such a bizarre, dumb way that it's going to get on the front page of Reddit and everybody's just going to laugh. Yes. Like a survival of the fittest kind of thing. Yeah, the Darwin Award. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like those were really popular on the internet for a while, and now 
There, I, I guess you hear about stupid deaths so frequently that it's like, eh, oh, yeah. I was addicted to a thousand ways to die. What's that? It was like this really shitty show, show, like where they had dramatic reenactments of like really fucked up ways people have died, and it was like narrated by um, what, Hellboy what was his name, Ron Perlman. Ron, Ron Perlman. Perlman. So it was like a really like deep and serious voice. One of the stories was this guy who was an alcoholic, but he had like throat surgery, so he couldn't drink. So he had his <laughs> wife give him an enema of like just pure alcohol. Oh yeah, and yeah, he got so you. fucked up, he died of alcohol poisoning. You so, don't need much through the anus. You don't. No. What would a shot get me? Well, it's yeah, because it, it doesn't, you, it doesn't oh, sh- filter through the bloodstream. Yeah, it, it goes, goes directly into the blood. Yeah, there's yeah. no, uh, there's no stomach, no in filtering, the way, in the liver and all that. So, what would be the equivalent of a shot, like half a beer up your butt? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, but I, th- I know it's just it's really dangerous. What's the conversion rate on that? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> butt shot. <laughs> well, that was who that, has that guy? A bartender's license. Who was it on Howard Stern who could taste beer with his anus? <laughs> like they poured. You shots listen to of- more Stern <laughs> than I do, apparently. <laughs> they poured. Uh, they poured little shots of beer. Like he, there were four beers. Don't and he do knew, this, by the way. He knew all the beers. Like he tasted them. We stuff. don't have to tell people not to do this. Yeah, we do. Don't do it. I mean, but he could name the beers when they were poured into his anus somehow. Like he could get like the, the taste. exact, or did he just know it's like a dark beer. I don't know. I think he named the beers. Oh wow. Yeah, it was impressive. <laughs> this is can't an even ale, do that really? with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, Bud Light. We, I mean, there must be some element of taste in the rest of your body. Like your I taste hope buds. There is no element of taste in my asshole. <laughs> There is, uh, well, you can't taste yourself shitting. Yeah, thank God. How Could would, you? Could this guy? Well, you might be able to. You just know it's. That's taste. a good follow-up question. Could that guy taste his own shit when he was taking a dump? But it's like it's like if you're in a really stinky uh, room. After a while, you don't smell the room. Now I'm gonna think about that. Now I'm gonna taste it the next time I'm taking a dump. Gross. Now that you got me thinking about it, it's all connected, right? <laughs> oh God, how do you explain to a blind person what sight is? Like, how do you get? Are you Gavin? Where, where did this question <laughs> come? What is from? happening? No, like, how do you go about? Yeah, because I think you could explain yeah. like taste to it. It's like if you yes. explain taste to a blind yeah. person, yes. I think do you it. Could <laughs> explain taste to somebody who doesn't have a sense of a, like who can taste it. anything. You're just like you put your tongue on it. It's kind of like what you know you feel. But if well, somebody is completely sight, blind, the, the light bounces off objects into your light sensor, and then you can picture that thing. Like blind people can picture stuff, surely. Like, a like blind if they person, hear something, they can kind of project an image. A blind person's dream. And like feeling it. If they felt something before, they can picture the, what that shape would feel like. Mm-hmm. How weird do you think humans look to a person who has been blind their whole life and then gets their vision back? Well, if they've never touched a human's face, probably pretty weird. They gotta have an idea. Even I mean, if, if they touched it, though. Like, they've touched their own face. You wouldn't understand like colors or anything like that until it came to be. I don't know. It's just it would be so weird. Did y'all smoke a bunch of weed before you came out? What the, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Gavin what is conversation that I stumble into. Gavin is just a, uh, you know. These are important questions. Yeah. <laughs> these are these are the questions that drive the podcast. These are, yeah. these are shower questions. Shower questions. Like you're just left alone with your mind in the shower. These, oh, this is the stuff that people come. There up was with. a good shower thought recently um, when we were at New Year's at Bernie's house. Someone. <laughs> someone. Someone brought up the fact, they, I think they saw it on the subreddit for Shower Thoughts, that the first word everyone says of the year is always happy. Because you're saying Happy New Year the second the clock turns hmm. midnight. It's just funny. That is interesting. Yeah. No. I mean, in English speaking. <laughs> <really>. English speaking <laughs> or whatever it is in whatever. Not country. interesting? Right. You don't think that, like, tonight. it's interesting that the happy is the most frequently started word? Meh. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? What about this? You have never seen your face. I think I think about this. <laughs> you have only seen your face reflected off other objects when, or when, displayed. When I was a kid, <clears throat> I was obsessed with trying to figure out what my face looked like from another perspective. It's like, because I would look in the mirror, and it's exactly what you're saying. It's like, I would look at myself in the mirror and think, that's not really what my face looks like, because everything flipped. you try to do, flipped. like, the side angle? Yeah, and it, I would always try to look at myself at the side, or, like, <laughs> yeah. get another mirror, and that's it's like, it's it not right. That's why it's funny when you got 3D printed, and you were like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah so that was the closest like I think I've been to actually seeing But I have my seen face. light bounce off your face into my eye. Mm-hmm. And it's beautiful. And you can never, and I wish un- I had you can never unsee that. <laughs> that is forever etched Gus, into your eyes and your brain. So... Gavin, you said you would explain by saying it's light reflects off an object and it's how you sense it. How do you explain light? The sun I would creates... Be like, I'd be like, what do you see right now? And they'd be like, nothing. And I'd be like, the opposite of that. 
the opposite of nothing is light. <laughs> is that not a fail? I, I'd be interesting I'll to hear it. from people who have never seen, like what it's like. Can they? Anybody? Can? <laughs> yeah. How do you describe light? So, it's. Yeah, like I'm, I'm thinking like let's say, you have your eyes closed and you're in a pitch dark room, right? Yeah, so mm-hmm. you can't see anything, and you know you can like press on your eyes, and then you can kind of see like. Weird oh, colors and when stuff. When you like finger your eyes and you get like right. the electrical display. So in your if eyes. you're blind, does that still happen, or are the, the like the connections I just think totally that gone? That would depend whether their optic nerve was attached. Have you never done this, Barbara? I'm just trying to see what okay. you guys don't are like. About. Do it mental, but like if you, it's always on the other side. Like if you push this side of your eye, you'll you see it like up here. Things, right? Yeah, yeah, because it's like everything. Everything you see is upside down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and your and brain just flips it. Yeah, because the way eyes work. They did an experiment where they, they gave this on the back. girl really like uh, mirror goggles. And so everything she saw was actually upside down and it was like completely disorienting. But after like a week, she was just like... It's it interesting just... that your brain can flip the image and there's no it's... lag. Like if, if I could switch my brain to unflip the image, so I was just seeing like raw light, would I be able to react faster? Or maybe there is lag and you're just compensated for it. Yeah, that's what I mean. To... Like, yeah, yeah. Would, I be a, would I be like super reflex once I adjust the fact that everything's upside down? <laughs> Eyes are so I mean, It's like the motion blur, the effect of it. Yeah. 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 I, uh, years ago, one, one time I, uh, I woke up in the morning and, uh, you know, I've worn glasses, I think ever since I was like nine or 10 years old. <laughs> and so I'm used to like waking up and not being able to see anything because my eyesight's so bad. One morning I woke up, opened my eyes and I was like, I can see everything clearly. Like I have 20-20 vision. I can read <laughs> the clock across the room. I can see everything crystal clear and I don't have my glasses on. What the fuck is happening? And Did you have uh, like a film of water over your eyes? No, no, it was everything was fine. Everything was great. And then like within five minutes, everything was really blurry, but like not the blurry I'm used to. I was like, that's weird. I put my glasses on and it wasn't right. Then like five minutes later, I could see okay with my glasses. And I'm like, there's just something wrong with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I just had to go to the doctor. He's like, oh yeah, you've got shit on your eyes. It's, it's fucking with your vision. That's weird that you were able to see we're perfectly though. Perfectly focused it light. It's fine. Like... <laughs> it, was, it was right when I woke up. Were you really excited? I was so minutes? excited. I was so happy. How old were you when you got glasses? Like nine or ten. Did really you... Young. At what point did you realize that you needed glasses? The, the second I put glasses on for the first time? Yeah. Like... I, I had no idea I needed glasses. I just thought the world was really blurry after a certain point. You have glasses? Oh, I got LASIK. Oh. But I wore glasses like since I was like, yeah, like nine or ten. But I don't But like we would go to basketball games and I you know, we'd sit at the top because you know, nosebleed section is cheap. And you just couldn't see shit. And I'm just like, why do people pay to come to these things when you can't see anything? Everything's just a blur. You know, the funny thing is I I knew I knew as soon as I put my glasses on when I was a kid that all of a sudden I could see everything clearly. I have no memory of things being blurry before that, though. Really? I never remember being a kid and be like, wow, everything's really blurry. Usually well, it's like you you're know. in a class in school, yeah. right? And they're like, can you see the... You're like, I was always a big fucking nerd, so I always sat up front anyway. So <laughs> 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 was, it was not a problem. Did you ever have trouble riding the bus in public school? I always sat next to a dude who pissed himself a lot. <laughs> that like was a problem I had. Like or was it a sign? No, he was like on a podcast or something and fucking couldn't hold his pee. <laughs> I, I, I have memories of this kid peeing As all a kid? the time. He would piss on the bus? Yeah. What? I was, I was in kindergarten. when I. That's the only time I ever took the bus. And I sat was that kid who peed himself actually you? <laughs> no, <laughs> yes. No, no. I knew it. I shit myself once in kindergarten. <laughs> Explain. Um, so when I was in kindergarten, we uh, we had bathrooms in the classroom like you didn't have to leave the classroom it's like oh you know you there's the door where you walk into the classroom immediately to the right there was like a boys and a girls bathroom two different doors and then like the classroom was over here to the left so if you need to go to the bathroom you didn't have to go out into the hall it was just right there by the door so i needed to go to the bathroom i really need to take a dump why am i talking about my dump so much this podcast i really need to take a dump uh so i went i went up to the bathroom and there was someone in there I was like, oh, God, I really got to go. And there was like a little seat, like a little waiting room right in front of it, right? Like a little seat and like a copy of highlights or some shit. So I sat down for a little bit and I was like, really got to go. And I remember getting up and like walking in a circle in front of the door. I, was like, <laughs> I really got to take a dump. And I was just waiting and waiting and eventually couldn't wait anymore. So I fucking shit my pants. <laughs> See, that's funny, and, though, because that wasn't like a sudden poo. That was I've run out of time. I'm now gonna poo my pants. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a decision you had to make there. No, it was. It was. I did. I. I. Sh- I shit the shit out of my pants. <laughs> Were you able to hide it? And no, no. Well, I. I mean, 
I told the teacher, like, listen, I, <laughs> I shut my pants over here. So uh, <laughs> she sent me to the, the principal's office so they could call my mom to, uh, to come pick me up. You were in trouble? Up. Oh, I guess they didn't yeah. want to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I go to the office and... Uh, I must have stank because they, they wouldn't let me stay in the office. <laughs> they like got a chair and put it out in the hallway and told me to wait in the hallway oh, for my mother. Oh, so you sat in it? Yeah, so I was sitting in it and I'm like sitting there. I'm all dejected because I just shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember this this older kid still walking down the hall. <laughs> and I don't know how old he was because I'm like in kinder- I'm a stupid kindergartner. And he gets in front of me and he goes, and he turns and looks at me and he goes, did you? And I go, yeah. He goes, oh. And he just kept walking down the hallway. <laughs> So you're just sitting there with like smushed poo in your yeah, pants. Yeah, sitting there with like fucking <laughs> compressed shit in my pants. <laughs> Why are you getting sick? You shot your pants too. I had an issue in... <laughs> um, and to this day, I'm still it was, like... Uh, it's a smushed shit bit. <laughs> to this day, I'm still really paranoid about like needing to go to the bathroom and not being able to go. Like, so uh, like that pre-podcast <laughs> dump you had to take was one of a very traumatic yes, moments of your life. Very traumatic. When I was in junior high... I could not make it all the way to the bathroom, and when I finally got in there, I was like, oh man, I can't, I mean, you, you, I would be eaten alive. That would be like the story for the next, like, ten years. So, I, I cleaned up, and then I had my underwear, and I couldn't do anything, so I rolled it in a ball, and like, threw it in the corner, and then immediately ran out. And as soon as I was running out, there was a custodian that went inside. And then, like, later that day, I passed by the same custodian, and they gave me, like, the most evil eye in the world. Because they had to clean up your underwear. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know it was yours. It. I was the only one in there. This, you could have been in there when you got in there. Oh, man, I must have totally gave it away with my face. <laughs> she totally knew. You gotta think. You gotta be diabolical. Yeah, I know. Did next I ever, next time. Did I ever tell you the story of the kid that shut in the corner of our was classroom? No. <laughs> Uh, I think it was the third or fourth grade. There was a kid that was causing a ruckus and being like just a little asshole in class. And he kept asking to leave and the teacher wouldn't let him. I forget why. She was just being a bitch as well. (laughs) And he was making such a fuss about it that she put him in the corner and he ended up just shitting in the corner. Like he pulled down his pants and took a shit in the corner (laughs) of the classroom. Not in his pants. Not anywhere that he could just go get cleaned up, but in the corner of the classroom. That's how you do it, though. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna shit, you should make it look like, you know, making a statement. I wish I had the foresight in kindergarten to take my pants off. In the- and, and just have taken the dump there. <laughs> but then yeah. you risk someone seeing poo coming out of your anus. Which is the grossest Which thing. Which, that's the lowest of the low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's true, it's- but then I wouldn't have had smushed shit in my pants. Then they would ask you what it tastes like. Yeah, but it's below you. How are they gonna see it? It's true. Just get low. You're like, you're like on a balcony. <laughs> well, the anus comes out a little, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess it's like where you orient yourself. When, at our old office downtown, I remember walking through the parking lot that was literally next to the building, and there was just homeless woman just like <laughs> <laughs> squatting down, and I was just like watching this shit fall. And I was like, we need to move. You so, know when you talk about something so much that you can start to smell it? What's happening right now? It's, it's, does someone need to go to the bathroom? No. Uh, huh. Should we should we call it down this podcast? Just end it. We <laughs> uh, keep coming back to feces. No, we got awards to go. Yeah, we do have to do our awards. Let's do that. Speaking of shit, <laughs> let's talk about our awards. Let's talk the podcast awards. Let me uh, Game of Thrones, Modern Family. I'm scrap, cutting Modern scrap, Family. Yes. Yeah. No, iPad. I do not mean Game of Thrones. <laughs> That's a throng. Thrones is a word. Why is it fucking trying to correct me? Well, throngs is a word, too. Yeah, but I've already typed a word. <laughs> Why is it trying to replace a known good word? What's a throng? Like a mass You're of people. You're in the throngs of oh. passion, also. Yeah. That's the throws, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Read wait, a book, so, you idiot. Wait, what? what, what? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna spit it. She's gonna spit it. Don't do it. Don't... don't. don't. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> She's gonna spit her Red Bull. Get it out, we're in! Make your mind up! Pretend there's a penis in front of you and spit on it! (laughs) (laughs) Gob on the nose! Holy crap! Uh, I really thought I was gonna spit all over the couch! (laughs) That is not easy to get up. Fuck you guys, I hate you. Alright, there's there's (laughs) other seven left here. 